A friend is one who will not even consider giving his life for you. That's a friend. Everybody you name are uh, with me for money and for what they can get. I don't have no friends. I wrote a poem that says, Friendship is a priceless gift that cannot be bought in our soul, but its value is far greater than a mountain made of gold. For gold is cold and lifeless. It can neither see nor hear, and in time of trouble, it is powerless to cheer. Gold, it has no ears to listen, no heart to understand. It cannot not bring you comfort or reach out a helping hand. So when you ask God for a gift, be thankful if he sins, not diamonds, pearls, or riches, but the love of real, true friends. See, friends are very rare. This is John chapter 15 and starting at 12. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakodash. Yahweh been in the name of the Father, who people are eagerly called God, Yahweh Shai is his son. We were eagerly called Jesus, Bahashem, Rakakodash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith, Lord will to the end, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. Lord, will this lesson be edifying to the elect? Going in today on, uh, <clears throat> Real friends, you know, this this truth that we've come a part of, you know, it's, it's not based off of friendship. You know, it's not based off of us, you know, being uh, uh, like we come into this to, to be friends, you know, because that wasn't the intention. But, you know, as we come into this, you know, we, we begin to bond, you know, as as a. Uh, as Akim, as brothers, you know, as neighbors, as friends, you know. So, just uh, bringing out some scriptures on that. It was a a post that a brother posted. Uh, the big bro Mahar. He posted it, and and I'm, I'm gonna put it in in there in here. Lord will. Uh, it was on uh, Muhammad Ali. And he went and basically just broke down friendship. <clears throat> so, you know, that's where this lesson stems from. So, uh, Lord will this lesson be edifying to the elect. So I'm going to jump back to John 15 and 13. Greater love have no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. And that's what ultimately, that's what Yahweh Shai did for us. He laid down his life for us. So that goes to show you. The ultimate price that one could pay for is, is is his life for his for a friend. You know, a lot of people will say, you know, I'll kill for you. I'll kill for you. Yeah, is it the killing okay? That that takes something, but to die for someone, you know, to give up your life, to take someone's life, that's hard, okay. That could be, you know, but it's even that much more harder to to give your own life for a friend and that's what Yahweh Shai did and that's what you know we should be willing to do when you see the clip I'm not sure if I'll put it in the beginning or the end or in the middle or what but when you see the clip and he goes into that and these people man they they, they yearn to really have true friends they yearn, hey, that's that scripture where it says uh, they'll know, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get it. This is John 13 and starting at 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved one to another. So that's how they know, you know, they know that the love that we have, they, they know it's something different, you know, by the way we are towards one another. You know, our families, you know, bystanders, people that just see us out and about, they they know it's a something, you know, different. But, and we know by, you know, that's the biggest thing that we know, you know, 
the love by the love we show towards one another. We looking at each other too, you know. We the, we not worried about these other people, but you know, I, I, at times you know I'm in awe, you know, in awe by the love that we show towards one another. It's like it's surreal, but that's what you know the scripture speaks on where it talk about. He said, uh, "We get that one too." Why do y'all? This is First John chapter four and verse twenty. If a man say, "I love the Most High," and he hated his brother, he is a liar. But he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love the Most High whom he have not seen? You know, it's, it's, it's impossible. But that's how we show our love by the love that we have towards one another. We can't show Yahweh why Yahweh Shah, you know, and you know, love by going and grabbing them and hugging them and you know embracing them and you know uh being uh, uh charitable we can't do that physically but we could do it towards one another that's why this is you know hey this is the this is the key you know this this having this this uh this brotherhood man this this uh niche that we have this friendship amongst you know it's not gonna be like that with every brother but we should love that every brother as as you know as Yahweh Shah, and we may not have a, a, a you know like a close niche relationship as you may have with a, with another brother, you know. But us as a whole, as a body, you know, we 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 hey we got that love, and we can go anywhere, and you you, you could feel it, you know. You be willing to. to Lay your life down for, for a brother. He says, no greater love. That's what the first scripture I brought out. No greater love than for a man to lay down his life for his friend. And he's talking about, you know, us, the brothers. Because when you look into that word, a uh, friend, it goes into uh, speaking about your neighbor. All right. It's speaking about your neighbor. And who's your neighbor? Your your fellow Israelite. Those that do the will of Yahweh Shem Shai. Those that's doing what you do. That's a brother. That's a that's a neighbor. That's a friend. Cause we all we understand each other. That's just like anything. Soldiers are you know in the world are with soldiers. You know, uh, 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 artists are with artists. What's scripture? Uh, not scripture, but what's that saying? Birds of a feather flock together. And we're birds of a feather. We all flock together. We all one. That's why it's, it should be no division among us. That we. Pray that Yahweh Shemel Shah continue to keep us tighter, get us tighter and tighter, and we get our niche become closer and closer. Our bond, our trust, you know, our respect, our love, it just gets tighter and tighter until the, the return of Yahweh Shah. And then we just going we gonna truly be one body. We gonna be just we gonna be all one. We gonna be on the same type of wavelength. Cause we gon' we gonna be made new. We gon' hey, we gonna be perfect. That, that's that uh, <laughs> that's that uh Voltron. You know, everybody come together, just form one, boom. And I'm looking forward to that. That's one thing I'm looking forward to. You know, where we where we don't go off, where we all just in in, in unison. We all one. We really we we gonna be truly uh, free from all sin. We ain't gonna have. We ain't gonna be going off. Not in our thoughts, nothing. So jumping back to, I'm going to go back to John 15. <clears throat> and 13. It says, greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And that's what we should be willing to do. It says, you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Okay, that was it on that one. I'm going to jump to the next one. It's Proverbs, I believe. So Proverbs 17 and verse 17 it says, a friend loveth at all times and a brother is born for adversity. You know, a friend, hey, we don't just throw that out there lightly. You know, we're, we're when, we, when we become a part of this truth, Lord will to the end, hey, it's a, it's a bond that Yahweh Shemel Shah has created between us and each other because we, you know, we constantly in tune and we in the spirit and, and you know, we on the same wavelength, man. 
we thinking the same, we, we believe the same, we worship the same, that's why they call us a cult, you know, because we all on the same wavelength, we all believe the same thing, Since scriptures say that, how can two walk together unless they agree, there's no way, you can't, you can't pretend, you can't fake it, you can't, like, oh, well, I believe, and, but I don't believe this part, you know, so, hey, that's why we, Yahweh Shemi Al is bringing us all together, has brought us all together from all different, you know, parts of life. Because he saw this brother fit. So he's, you know, this brother, he come in at this age. This brother come in at this age. This brother go through this different uh, type of e event. This brother, his uh, skills is this. This brother's got these type of skills. And then he brings us all together. And, and you know, it, hey, it creates... Uh, Voltron creates a, a, a one un, un, like something that can't be destroyed something that can't ultimately is Yahweh Shai you know he's the he's the heart of it all he's what keeps us you know the, the, he's what brought us and niched us all together cause we wouldn't we wouldn't majority of us wouldn't have connected you know we was out doing whatever we was doing but Yahweh Shai brought us together so that's that that's that number one niche that has us that's why we you know that's the main thing you know with fellowship and all that comes through us first you know linking with Yahweh Shimei Shah. that's the that's the main that's the glue that's the that's the number one thing that's going to keep us the cement that's what's the foundation that's what keeps us close niched and then we get the benefit of, of whether it be being friends being you know, uh, comrades, uh, you know, fellow servants, that all that comes about from us first doing the work. And then we, you know, uh, get, become stronger and have bonds between one another. You know, but ultimately it's, it's, it's Yahweh Shah, it's Yahweh Shah. So let me get this next one. This is uh, Proverbs 18, and verse 24. A man that has friends must show himself friendly. And there's a friend that stick closer than a brother. Hey, that's how we are towards one another. A lot of us are closer to one another than we are even with our own families. You know, a lot of times you, you have, uh, you know, you got to you got to look sideways at, 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 at uh, some people, meaning, you know, like your, it could be your family members. Cause you're not you're not fully sure you know and that's because how can two walk together unless they agree because it, you you don't you don't have the you y'all you, not on the same wavelength you know y'all could be raised together from from babes all the way up but but you come into this truth and then it's just like dang that's a it, it is a hard pill to swallow man but you like damn man you know we i don't think i don't i don't think like you and you definitely don't think like me we're not on the same page you know we think different we speak different we believe different and that's you know that's the that's how you how Bashi Miao was shot wanted you know he, he said it's gonna be division you know father against mother father against son and son against father and mother against mother uh, against daughter and daughter against daughter-in-law and all that all that is just gonna be a bunch of you know uh, and that's what he's about he about separating that's why he, he uh did that in uh in Babel. he created everybody to have different languages everybody was being on one accord and he nah let me change it switch this up have everybody speaking all kind of different languages because he saw when everybody was coming together he is he's a separatist and but now right now he, he's he's uh separating everybody the two-thirds the other nations and then he got his elect you know he's got the Israelites but he got his elect he got those 144,000 to one-third of men women and children of, of who he who he truly loves just like no different than the, the time of Noah when when uh he only saved those eight souls out of everybody he only saved them that was it so he's doing the same thing this go round, this second death, but this this one is gonna be by that that fire, 
through them ice and beam missiles. That's what's coming. That's going to be that lake of fire that's coming. Instead of a flood that came, it's going to be fire this time. So let me get this next one. This is Matthew's 22. And verse 37. It says, Yahweh Shah said unto him, hold on. 22 and 37 through 40. It says, Yahweh said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And that neighbor go back to being a friend. When you look up friend in the blue letter, it, it, go, it speaks about being a neighbor. And that's, the, that's what neighbor, we're neighbors. You know, brothers that do the do this work brothers that's on the same wavelength so it says on these two commandments hang all the law and the and the prophets all right so hey love Yahweh Hashem al Shai, and then it says the first and then it says and the second is like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself we, we gotta do that we gotta love one another we can't we don't that that's not a not a choice in the matter if we are part of this truth, we got to love. And so that that love, with love come forgiveness. You know, we got to remember to forgive. We got to remember to have mercy upon up, amongst one another. Just like we want that mercy, we got to give it. I'm going to get this next one. I think this is it, and I'm going to close it. This is Second Ezra's, I think. Let me see. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 17. It says, A man shall desire to go into a city and should not be able. Hey, that the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. So this is the time for us to, you know, to really appreciate and, and lock in. Because we don't know what's what's to come. You know, we gotta build the bond now. Because it is is of course it's gonna get even stronger when that when that time comes. But right now is is a perfect time to build, you know relationships you know to build uh camaraderie you know of course you gotta you know it's it's out there in the air we, we gotta be on on uh on, a, on point and you know but hey yahaba shimao shah is gonna lead and guide those that's of the elect on how we should you know deal with one another and who we should deal with and how you know it's all going everything gonna come to light you know so it says Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. So it's going to get real wild out here. So it it, uh, it uh, approves us. I believe that's how said. it said. It's very important for us to make sure, you know, that we building that bond now because it's going to be rough, man. And, and, and then we're going to, It'll be a horrible time where we like, dang man. I, I remember, I was a, I would have been able, or I, I could have went, and you know, we could have been doing lessons and you know, building bonds and you know, knowing brothers. But then that time with Jacob's trouble coming in, it's it's too late then. It'll be like how it, how it said in verse uh, 15. Was it 15 or 16? No, Salaki, like verse 17. I'm going backwards. Where it says uh, a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able, you you be desiring like man, I, I just live right a, right, you know, if, uh, even if it's an hour or two hours to go see a brother at times, man, hey, it'd be worth it, you know, for it to come together. So in verse eighteen it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. 
but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. So I breathe this because we knowing that it's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble and we're going to be desiring to see one another. It may be where brothers be in a whole nother city and we won't be able to get there. But, you know, we had those those times where we could remember, you know, they, they speak on that in, in a service where camaraderie, but then too, where, where you have, uh, you build, you build, you know, you build uh, bonds towards one another. So you could reflect, you know, you could, you could, you had that type of, uh, uh, you have it already embedded in your mind on how, how you, how you dealt, you know? So when the time of war come, that it is, it's easier to, to, uh, to trust, you know? You build trust in war, yeah, but you could build trust prior to that. But the point is, uh, real friends in this truth, you know, you you find you find some real friends, and of course you find some some snakes in there too, you know. It's a balance in it. You you gonna find snakes, but that's that's in anything. But it seemed like, hey man, and this is just like, man, either either you're a, a true genuine friend or you're a true genuine low down snake you know Jake could be a, a cold a cold cold MF man Jake could be cold man cold hearted but hey you know we deal we deal we, we let Yahweh by Shemel Shai you know uh, order he, he, our steps is ordered by him so how things go with the scripture say a man's going is of the Lord so how, how things transpire Within uh, the body, you know, is is of Yahweh Shimei Shai how he wants it to go down. You know, you might build up a friendship in that, and it, and that brother could, you know, exit stage left. You know, and you you really uh, had a bond with that brother. You know, and and he ended up not being of the elect. You know, so that's why the scriptures say, "Hey, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling," and that's what it. You know, comes back to, you know, again, we uh, built up our relationship off of Yahweh Shem Al Shah, and that was the number one thing. So we gotta always remember that that that's the that's that's the key ingredient. And if uh, brother isn't of Yahweh Shem Al Shah, then hey, we can't walk together. You gotta be a Yahweh Shem Al Shah, and that's that's you know that, uh, uh, something that we gotta be willing to you know to let go if need be. Cause ain't nothing more important than Yahweh Shemel Shai. So Lord with us was edifying to the elect out there, and with that all praise, honor, and glory until Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you walking out there fighting the good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.